welcome to webstyle press if you haven't already subscribed consider subscribing and hit bell icon for updates experienced developers make use of tools extensions plugins that make their day-to-day -day coding operations easier and quicker use good code editor and search for its extensions or tools that make workflow faster and easier i use visual studio code as my code editor to generate boilerplate or basic template i do not write same code again and again i use code snippets for visual studio code code snippets are templates that make it easier to enter repeating code patterns such as loops conditional statements or even full page templates for any language i use code snippets all the time these code snippets save a lot of time you can create boilerplates for html css sas javascript react angular vue.js python c++ or anything else that you like although you can find separate extensions for c++ python vue.js angular react inside visual studio code but you can create your custom snippets to work with as well you can save these snippets or templates in visual studio code and call them later on by using their trigger name defined by you you can save as many snippets as you like in visual studio code visual studio code's official website explains how can you create code snippets in detail i will show you a shortcut that can be used to quickly create your own custom snippet at visual studio code's website you can read in detail on how to create snippets in visual studio code you can search for visual studio code snippets and you can find this page on visual studio code's website and you can create your own custom snippets you can save file containing your custom code snippets and these snippets can be scoped via language or project snippets can be global snippets as well you can create a global snippet file and you can store all your snippets in that file also you can use variables inside the snippets let me give you an example on how to create snippets this is visual studio code i have got three pages opened in it index.html and for css custom.scss and for javascript custom.js these three files are opened and if i type snip here i am presented with the choices like snip css new snip dash custom js these are defined and saved by me and we are inside index.html so if i select snip dash html new so i will be presented this snippet this code snippet this is the html boilerplate that i prefer and I do not need to write this template again and again whenever I need HTML boilerplate. So in this sense, these snippets are very useful. And this is CSS file and I have got my CSS file to begin with. I have got snippet for it. I have created it. So snip CSS new and this is CSS file that I use as a starter template. And then I've got custom.js. I will type here snip and I have got snip custom.js. And this is my custom.js file that I would like to work with. As you can see, it has got already document.ready, window on resize, window on, window scroll, window on load and then i have got the devices check for responsiveness and then few more things that i can reuse 
but I do not have to write this code again and again I have got it stored in snippets snip and custom.js and here is my code and this is for the CSS and it was for the HTML page I also have got more snippets for HTML like I will type snip and I have got uh, snip flex HTML so let's use it so this is the code that snippet generated so where are these snippets where are these stored these are stored here go to file and then preferences and here are user snippets click that and here I can see my snippets code snippets global and then new snippets code snippets new global snippet file you can uh, create a new file new snippet file or Jake tab new, uh, this is scoped for project as you can see right here new snippet file for for just this project but I will if you create a new global snippet file and you'll have to type the name test snippet file let's name it test snippet file and hit enter and this is the default new global snippet file you can paste your snippet inside this block of code so place your global snippets here each snippet is defined under a snippet name and has a scope prefix body and description and I will also show you my file that I have stored my snippets that I have created so file preferences user snippets and uh, my snippets code snippets so these are my snippets that I have created this is HTML new document this is the uh, name for that snippet and this is the trigger prefix snip dash HTML new if I will type this one and enter in my Visual Studio code I will uh, have the snippet inside my code editor and then after comma this is the and uh, this is another snippet CSS new document uh, for CSS and this snippet is starting from here and ending here and then this is another snippet after comma so you can use as many snippets as you like inside a single file right so as you can see the format there's an easy way there's a, there are tools there are generators that can help you generate these kinds of snippets you should know your code and you can give your code to that generator and it will give you the co uh, code snippet code for the snippet and you can paste it here for example i want to create another snippet i will close this file because i do not need it i will close this custom.js i do not need it i will create another snippet right now i have got this system snippet but i do not need few things in it i do not need the, these lines i do not need responsive.css in it I will use it compact I will make it compact and use another uh, snippet I just use jQuery and I just use Twitter bootstrap and uh, minimal code so I am going to create another snippet right now first I will uh, write the code here first I will uh, type the code here and uh, then if you search visual studio code snippet generator you'll be presented with the tools few tools select anyone for example this is a snippet generator and uh, as you can see you can type description here you can uh, type tab trigger or its name that will be used to trigger that snippet and here will be your snippet code 
and this is the place where visual studio code snippet will be generated and there are snippet for sublime text and then there are snippets for at atom atom code editor but i am using visual studio code so i will stick to this part and then i will create snip i have got snip html new i will create a snippet with the name of snip dash html okay so i will use snip dash html uh, html starter template html starter template minimal html starter minimal template so here will be the code for my snippet so i have got the code previously that is like this a snip html new and i want to customize it i want jquery in for the snippet all right and then i i will use twitter bootstrap for it and then i do not need this line i need custom dot js file and then i do not need this code however i need the uh, break and two breaks here and then i need two breaks here and then i need a class container here and that's it maybe some text here and i do not need fav icon here i do not need this check here these lines will also go and also vendor will go i may need font awesome i will need a uh, twitter bootstrap i will not need keywords i will need description template and rest is rest is fine and uh, i would like another change here i for simplicity i do not need this address assets and installs usually when i create html i use a folder called assets and then inside the assets i use a folder called styles and also scripts inside scripts folder custom.js or all these javascript files uh, i will throw all javascript files inside scripts folder that is inside assets and for the styles css files i will use styles folder and i will keep my css files inside the styles folder and styles folder will be inside the assets folder but this is simple html template i will not need these here i will just assume that custom.css will be inside the root directory inside the folder uh, that contains this index.html page so i will remove this path and i will use this custom.js now i can use this dot slash here or i choose to not use this dot slash here both are fine and uh, let me quickly check once more so these are responsive meta tags now this is the utf encoding character encoding and this is the these are the responsive meta tags necessary and title and then name description is all right uh, but i guess i will not need this description i am just creating this template for tutorials so uh, i will need bootstrap css and then font awesome font awesome for css and then a style sheet and then i will have jquery and then bootstrap and then custom.js okay i'm happy with this i'm happy with this template so i will i will just press ctrl a i will select it all copy it and then i will come here and for my html starter minimal template with the trigger snip dot h uh, dash html i will paste the code here so this is my code 
and as you can see it gave me this code for visual studio code visual studio code and i will copy the snippet and right now if i delete this and type snip dash ht m l i have the snip dash html flex html and snip dash html new right so i will delete it and this is my snippet file that comes from here preferences file preferences user snippets and then my snippets code snippets this is the file that i saved previously okay you can generate it if you don't have this file you can generate a new global snippet file from here and then you can paste that snippet inside this file so this is my file and this is my last snippet here this one this is my last snippet it is ending here so after this snippet i will place a comma and then i will paste the new snippet here i will save it then i will come inside this index.html and then i will type snip here and as you can see snip dash html is here i will click at this and i will have my template pasted here so i use this a lot and if you see me uh, typing snip here and then selecting something from here and then some code uh, is thrown at the editor inside editor inside a file so then do not be alarmed i'm showing you this method that i do in order to work quickly and easily so in short type your code here once copy that and then search at google visual studio code snippet generator and then type the description type the tab trigger and then the code and copy the code from here and uh, paste it inside your snippet global snippet file and then call it by its name inside your file html or css or js or whatever the file you have opened in visual studio code these snippets will be available to copy in that file so that's it for this video i hope you liked it if i missed anything or you have something to add you can comment down below ask questions related to this topic if you haven't already subscribed subscribe to this channel and hit bell icon to receive updates join us on social media links are in the description below stay tuned for more updates i will see you in the next video